Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to episode two of The Dev Show. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Laracon 2017. We'll be talking about some cool stuff that you can do with ARKit. And we'll also be talking about some games that can help you become a better developer. And we also have a few other cool things around the web. Okay, first up is Laracon 2017. If you have not had a chance to make it to a Laravel conference before, I would highly, highly recommend it. This year, Laracon is being held in New York on July 25th and 26th, and you can actually get some live stream tickets. So if you check out the link below this video, you can get some early bird live stream tickets for around $30. So I definitely recommend checking out this live stream. And if you ever get a chance to actually go to a Laracon, I would definitely recommend that as well. Next, if you ever need some nice background images or some nice stock photos, you may not want to go to Shutterstock. You always could, but it's pretty pricey. So at unsplash.com, you can actually get some free stock photos, and these stock photos actually look better sometimes than Shutterstock or all the other expensive competitors. So make sure to check out unsplash.com the next time you need a nice background image. And if you're a developer, you can also check out the developer API that they have on their website. So check out unsplash.com. Okay, next I wanted to talk about a marketplace that I didn't know that GitHub had. So GitHub has this marketplace. Maybe I was just living under a rock or something, but I've never seen this before. So GitHub has this marketplace that you can submit applications that integrate directly with GitHub. And the crazy thing is, as a developer, you can go to the marketplace and you can pay for these applications directly from your GitHub account. So you don't actually have to take out your credit card the credit card that you have on file with GitHub, you can actually use to purchase these services. So these can be like continuous integration services or a service that helps you clean or lint your code. Uh, it's pretty cool. And actually, it could be a good time if you're a developer to start building an app that integrates with the GitHub marketplace. And next up, this is really cool. Uh, some games that can help you become a better developer. First up is Vim Adventure. You got to check out this website. You can navigate this character and go through all the levels and you are using the Vim keyboard shortcuts to advance from level to level. So you will learn Vim as you play the game. And if you're still on this Vim kick and you want to continue learning more, you got to check out Vim Snake. And this is the classic snake game, but instead of using your arrow keys, you're going to use the keyboard shortcuts that you use with Vim. And next, if you just can't get your CSS layouts just right and you want to use Flexbox, you got to check out Flexbox Froggy. This is a really cool game that will teach you all the basics about Flexbox and even some of the advanced stuff. So I believe there are 30 challenges that can help you become better at using Flexbox in your layouts. Lastly is Hex Invaders. So you got to check this game out. It's a clone of Space Invaders, but you are pretty much using hex colors to play this Space Invaders game. It's really cool. You got to check it out. So iOS 11 recently released this AR kit which is augmented reality. So this is a developer kit that developers can use to create these augmented reality applications. And you got to check out this website. It's called Made with AR Kit, and they have curated a list of videos and different things that people are doing with this AR Kit. It's really cool. I think there's even one where some guy is going around the office and he's pretty much playing the Space Invaders game uh, with his phone. So be sure to check out all those videos and check out all the cool stuff that people are doing with augmented reality. So if you're on a Vue.js kick and you're building a Vue application and you need a multi-select dropdown, you got to check out this component. It is a Vue multi-select dropdown component that you can easily integrate into your application to add these multi-select dropdowns. It's very cool. You can check out the GitHub repo on how to install it and use these multi-selects in your application. Okay, I haven't had much of a chance to play around with React Native, but this front-end framework looks really cool. It's called UI Kitten. And you can actually download an application and check out all the components that they have available. So go ahead and check out this GitHub repo and start building some awesome mobile apps. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode two. And uh, now we're going to go take a ride on the beach. Mm -hmm.